Hi, it's Russ from Pro Tools Expert. I am delighted to be with the People's Choice Award winner of 2013, uh, Cliff Marg. How are you, sir? I'm I'm doing I'm doing great, Dr. Russ. <laughs> yeah, we have a little joke going on now that he is Sir Cliff Marg, and and I'm Dr. Russ. Apparently, uh, I think he deserves the title more than me. Anyway, we've just presented you with the People's Choice Award. Just tell me. How you guys? Your, your, it's you and your sons and and, and and some of an extended family. Yes. How did you feel when you found out? I just couldn't believe it, you know, and I couldn't believe we were, you know, in the running and just just humbled to have that opportunity to have somebody, all these people that liked our stuff. You know, it was hard to believe that so many were there. I, you know, it's like you you never really see that, and so it's it was just overwhelming to me kind of and I said to my boys look at all the people that are you know using your stuff <laughs> I must correct you there people don't like your stuff people love your stuff uh, and Thanks. I want to talk about the air band yeah. we had it we were at the Pro Tools expert panel yeah. yesterday and you explained it there and I'd like you for the camera to explain it again just the maths behind the air band because as I said when we look at 40k most of us are taught yeah. that 40k is the stuff that dogs listen to yeah so can you explain Yes. to our listeners today the whole the whole situation about how this airband works I can and I can tell I can tell the listeners a lot of engineers great engineers that I've worked with over the years not you know several of them when I'll go in and they'll be working with the airband and they'll be at maybe 10k and you know boosting down here a bit you can you can see what I'm talking about see at 10k and I'm just you know just barely cracking it a bit getting a little 10k in there and I'm doing this on an EQ2 and so I'll say, well, man, have you ever tried to move up above where that frequency is at 10K? Because that's that's boosting it right now, just a few dB at uh, at the at the where the slope ends at 10K. You see what I mean? Yeah. So here's the slope. Now I boosted 10K just a little bit. Yeah, it added a nice spot in there. It's wonderful. I mean, it works great. But I said, try this, and I'll take and I'll put it to 40K or 20, and I'll crank it up like that, and they go, whoa. I mean, look how far you just pushed that. And the reason that it works is because now I move that shelf out to 40K, which my dog loves. <laughs> and so I've got it out here at 40K, but where it's finally coming off of the slope, I'm lifting, you know, at 10, at 10, to, so 10 this, to 10 to 12 to, you know, just that final final glimmer on the top of it. So all the problem frequencies yeah. are being attenuated Right down into 7K, exactly. sibilant frequency yes, to 5K, all, exactly. all those areas we've always struggled with. To, to get on top of or to get around them, where we DS them and do things to what try to correct them. too much of a trade sequence to then say, how come we don't get hits? Well, it just doesn't, and it took a long time to figure that's out a, how to have source. this right here, when that's off, and I flip it on, at that amount of gain to not be a hiss switch. And the first ones in the preamps that I did, they were hiss switches, right? And uh, that's one of the that's one of the things the about the circuit. Source. But it but it and it's so important. It's not it, it, if you if you kick that in, you wouldn't be able to hear that that this that little bit. But you've got to have you know I'm pushing ten I'm pushing ten dB of gain at forty k, but it's only lifting at three or four at at uh, twelve or you know down to ten. Uh, so that, that helps people. I hope that'll help people to see. That Don't does. be afraid of this guy. Yeah, let's right get here. let's get the camera back in again, Neil. Yeah. Because we were talking. Me and you were sharing our sort of settings, yes. weren't we? So yes. this is my vocal setting. So we're 20k. Yeah. I'm pushing it to 6 dB. Yes. But this is for me a magic frequency. Most of us have been taught yes. that the sweet spot for vocals and guitars is 5k. But yeah. this 2.5k about there, and I'll bring my fingers out of the way in a minute, and then that one there. The 160 I start 60. to pull off a bit, and that's down, and the sub's out, and that is for me a sweet wow. vocal, female vocal in particular, and yes. acoustic guitar, yes. but this one in particular really gives it some life without sibilance. Right, and one of the reasons that, the, that, that you're able to hear that in the, in the, the uh, on this shelf at 2.5, yes. and, and as it goes out, is it's not changing with phase shift, and I know that a lot of people don't agree with the phase shift thing, but I'm telling you, when you take and you don't shift that phase, when you when you gain it like that, it just allows it to remain 
the 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 it's like an S remains the S, a nice smooth S, not something that's wide and thick. So it keeps it that razor blade S and not a finger S. That's what. It, that's why. That's why it works when you boost it at 2.5 k on the vocal. That you wouldn't think you could. Now we had a sort of secrets conversation yesterday, but uh, we we can't say more than this. But we yeah. know we could tell everybody that loves your stuff so far. There's some more stuff on the way. Yes, and and it and it's something I've been holding on to for about 20 years, and I'm really excited to to put it out. And it'll involve some you know this stuff, and but it'll be in a. It'll be something that I, I hope people like. Well, I've heard about <laughs> it and I like it. I'm excited about it. I just want to get my hands on it when yeah. it's done. Anyway, yep. Sir Cliff Mack, yes. winner of uh, the 2013 People's yep. Choice Award, IQ4. <laughs> Congratulations. It's a pleasure. Well, it, it's a pleasure for me and thank you so much. And, and thanks to all of the people who voted for us. Uh, I can't even begin to tell you how means, much it means to me and to my sons and to, to our other partner, Travis. We, we sincerely do appreciate it. And we will always do our best to put out the best quality that we will actually use ourselves. So uh, thanks for the support. And Russ, thanks to you. Thank you. Dr. Russ. <laughs> <laughs> Checking out. Yeah. Pro Tools Expert, NAM 2014.